today I'm going to compare the Halo Wraith, the Champion Wraith, and the Star Wraith to see if there's any flight differences and just give my overall comparison. The general consensus of these plastics is that you'll, you'll have the regular star being the least stable out of the three. Then it goes into the Champion, which is a bit stiffer plastic, and then the almighty Halo plastic. Now when it comes to the feel of these discs, Star and Halo Star are a lot more tacky. They feel more grippy in the hand, whereas the Champion is a little bit more slick the Champion is also a lot flatter. Mind you, these are all Wraiths. And the Star have a little bit more wiggle room on the top of its flight plate, rather than the Champion is just a little bit more flatter. So I came out to AO Fisher. If you've been on the channel, you've probably seen this course before. I like it because it's pretty wide open, so if I'm comparing this, it's easier to see the flight characteristics. This is the first time I've ever actually seen it in this position. So we're actually gonna go forehand off the tee of one. They par three, 385 feet up and to the right, kind of near the road. Wow, mighty short, but mighty straight. Very, very similar. I think with me throwing Halo all the time, I was a little bit scared to actually give those some power because I didn't know how the plastic would react. They reacted pretty good. They were pretty much dead straight. So now I'm gonna have to throw the Halo Wraith much, much harder. Definitely figured it out with the Halo Wraith, but I put it on some Annie to actually try and get it there. And it fought out of Annie very, very well. The other two I tried to put on Heiser just because I was honestly scared that I was gonna flip them over, especially into a slight headwind. But they did really good. Just gotta throw them higher and actually trust the disc. Not a good start for the star. Got about the same putt for the Star Wraith and the Halo Wraith, but one's for par and the other's for birdie, so that's unfortunate. Let's go, come on, baby. Oh, two in a row. All right, so par, par, birdie with the Halo Wraith. We have hole two here, 530 foot, par four. Wow, very, very predictable finish there. No budge at all in that flight. That had more of a left to right turn. That flew very, very nicely. Kind of how you would think a Wraith should fly. The Champion flipped up very, very nicely, but it flips to flat, doesn't turn at all, and then has, from that, a really, really hard finish. Trying to predict these short distances is where it gets a bit interesting. That is not gonna be good. The Star Wraith had a really, really nice flight where it started to go right, but it wasn't going to keep on that line and it actually faded right back out of it. Didn't go very much to the right. It didn't budge a lot, but you could definitely tell that there was some slight movement in its flight. Go baby, go baby. And then the Halo Wraith, I tried throwing more on a flat release, so you didn't really get to see if it flipped up or not, but it went dead straight to a really nice finish. Dig. Halo Wraith coming in hot at negative two. I had to pitch the champion out of the woods and then I just got a par, so didn't really feel like you guys wanted to see that. I skipped that part. This hole here, I'm going to try and throw all three on slightly hyzer flips. Maybe it's not the best shot for the hole, but I wanna show you any differences in any type of release. I'll start out with the Halo Wraith. This really should just kinda hold that hyzer line.
lone birdie. Very much safe to say that I am throwing the champion race the worst. I'm not throwing any good shots with it. Now I do think the champion flips up to flat better than the rest of these discs. I mean, the Halo Wraith really shouldn't flip up to flat. It's gonna be your beefcake of a Wraith. Your Star Wraith is going to hopefully beat in a little bit quicker than the Halo, and it's going to be able to flip up slightly out of the box dependent on arm speed. Right now, I'm getting it to flip up ever so slightly, but when I'm talking about a flip up, I'm talking to maybe like here, and then it still fades out. So it's kind of just coasting on that line. That previous hole I played horrible with both the star and the champion. I don't know what happened but I like to throw OB on that hole apparently. Next up we have a 310 foot forehand hole which I am very excited to try forehands out once again um, hopefully trusting these discs this time. You could throw that champion wraith hard and it does it just kind of flips up starts going straight and then it's always going to have that predictable finish which is nice wow. the star wraith just seems so much more stable than the champion The halo is so good for those flex shots, which I didn't mean to put it on any sort of ante there, but it carried the OB. So the champion finally gets a stroke on the car. The reason I'm gonna play this hole here is because I do like to throw the forehand again. And I liked what I saw from the champion wraith on that last one where it just kind of flipped to flat and had a really hard finish. This is kind of the same thing, just a lot lower and you actually need to hit a line. Yeah, I love that. I love that about the champion is that it does, it does kind of get to flat. Whereas the other two, well, I'm gonna throw this regular star now, but the other two haven't been doing that. So much more stable than the champion. That time I threw the star flat and I think that's where that disc really succeeds. I feel like since it doesn't want to get up to hyzer, uh, throwing it flat will actually get you a little bit of turn, but still really predictable. Seems more stable than the champion, I've said that a hundred times. But overall, I definitely think that's where it shines since it doesn't get to flat on hyzer, at least for me. Halo Wraith came up the shortest and the most right. Doesn't matter, man, I'm catching those. All birdies, all wraiths, let's go. If you guys like this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers, only like 100 away at this point. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I really appreciate it. This 630 foot par four is going to be the last hole of the day. I'm gonna be trying to get my max distance out of these. So I'm gonna put them on a little bit of Annie and see where we can get to. Ooh, baby, that is the shot right there. That's nice. Yeah, it comes out way sooner. Came out of that way sooner. Landed probably right where the champion did. That actually, that held longer. I think I put it on a steeper angle, but pretty good. That disc is probably the most surprising of today. I thought there would be a more clear difference between the Halo than the regular star, but that is just flying unbelievably more stable than I would have ever imagined. For sure, I think the Halo is a click more stable. I really do because I have seen the star kind of, you know, kind of drift just ever so slightly, but all in all, it's relatively, I mean, pretty stable and I do realize the halo plastic is halo star plastic and it's 
just more decorative, but it seemed like it was gonna be like way, way more stable. Oh, skip in. Sit. Both of those at that distance, giving them a slight bit of ante really just kind of helps them continue straight. This is just absolutely embarrassing. All right, guys, there you guys have it for today's challenge and comparison. The champion, the star versus the halo star and kind of what I thought about it. Overall thoughts, starting with the champion, it felt like it was the easiest to flip up to flat if it did. Sometimes I felt like I couldn't get it all the way to flat, but it definitely throughout today flipped up to flat or the closest to flat the most consistent. The star wraith surprised me the most. I didn't think it was gonna be near as stable as it was. And you can really put some power into this to try and get it to move right. Overall, I think this disc was best when thrown flat. That way I could actually get maybe a slightly bit of turn out of it, but not much at all. And then last but not least, the halo wraith. The halo wraith is the beefiest out of the bunch. It isn't necessarily all that much more stable than the star, but in order for me to get this going any bit to the right, I have to put it on that angle. Otherwise, it's just gonna travel straight and have a really hard finish. This disc is very good for forehands. In my opinion, you could put a lot of torque on Annie and just kind of watch that puppy go. Once these are beat in, that's when I really, really love them because then you can get a little bit of a flip up and they will actually start to go left if you're throwing a righty forehand and finish. But what do you guys think of the different plastics? It was very interesting to see the very, very slight differences in each of them. If you guys like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram where I post there daily, and we will see you on the next one.